Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another vintage collection figure review for you today. And after a lot of deliberation, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be cracking open ba Fat Bib. I just got to the point where I kept looking at him. I thought, no, nah, he's too good to be kept sealed. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm much more happier with a loose figure than I am a sealed figure. So this is one, you know... I did explain in the unboxing there are a few little creases and dings on the card, so I don't think he's going to increase in value that much. And you know, if it did, it's not something I'd sell anyway. So I did think about selling it at one putts at one stage, but just looking at the figure out of the box, I was like, nah, I'm 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 keeping it. Um, and yeah, it's taken another couple of days to decide that yeah, I'm going to open it up. And boy, does it look cool. Um, he is VC276. If we look at the front of the card, and there is this weird sort of secondary sort of track around the outside there. It's like there was an extra bubble or something glued to it. I'm not sure what's going on there, whether it's... Yeah, I can't, can't work out what's going on there. But, you know, the card art's cool, and I will be slicing the bubble off just so I can keep the card um as intact as possible um but yeah we're gonna open up the figure so let's do that and take a look and here he is out of the packaging we did take a look at the packaging and as always we'll take a look at the accessories the paint applications the articulation peg test and then we'll do a comparison when we can afford to um just yesterday i did do a review of the power of the force bib fortuna so you can go back and take a look at him but yeah, we'll put him side by side with the other vintage collection version of Bib Fortuna towards the end. But yeah, accessory wise, he does come with his with his staff here, which is really, really cool. Love this little nod to the Kenner days. The Kenner, the Kenner Bib Fortuna staff. And I love that they included that with Bib Fortuna in the uh the Mandalorian end credit scene that he appeared in so that's really cool i like that a lot and then as well though no no other weapons but he does come with the sort of big fat bib robes which is really really nice actually i'm loving the look of this it's so many different layers <clears throat> excuse me layers of fabric really nice sort of pattern on it as well the way it sits looks fantastic so we've got the sleeves there that sort of point out a little bit. The extra bit of the back of the neck there. For the collar. And then the uh, the soft goods part of the uh, skirt or trousers. Really nice texture. That pattern is fantastic. Really nicely done. I, I, I really like this a lot. The pattern sort of stems down from the painted part there of his shirt. You can kind of sort of see some sort of you know darker elements there to it, which looks great. So yeah, that's pretty much all in terms of the accessories. If you class soft goods as an accessory, I think in terms of Having a having a budget, higher budget for the figure, you know, something that's going to be included with a big playset like the barge, uh, not the barge, the palace. Um, you can afford to invest a little bit in some extra soft goods and and stuff like that. And you know, this is a pretty solid figure as it is. So I think definitely in terms of value to get this figure out is just fantastic. <clears throat> so paint apps. Really nice. Let's get a close-up look at his face here. Now that is simply remarkable, honestly. Oh, this is a 3.75 inch figure. <laughs> like, that is absolutely unreal. Super duper nice. If we bring in his previous counterpart. I'm gonna say even this this new version's better than the uh, the old old one. 
because that is some seriously amazing quality just to all the crinkles in his multiple chins there sort of got that little bit of a wash in there all around his leku here that's wrapped around his head or over his chest fantastic and again sort of just that little wash that sort of has rinsed into all the creases in the mold and this is a softer plastic too so that's really cool so this is a bit of flex to that it's not going to bend or, or, or stay in shape but it's definitely going to allow allow movement rather than being a super solid and this is this one here is is it's soft but it's it's you know it's very much in place whereas this one is a much softer plastic and obviously those two parts coming out of the head are separate to the head itself so the paint applications on the chest there he's got these sort of jewels um I'm not sure whether it's a couple of tiny little specks of gold that may be mispainted. I'm not sure. It's not too bad though. Could also be spilt food. Who knows? But yeah, that's it. Doesn't jump out at me, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, and I am gonna just for the sake of doing the paint up, so I'm gonna take the soft goods off so we can get a good look at everything here remove that there we go get a look at his his big big belly fortuna so yeah nice all, even all the buckles and the um you know the the silver silver ring there and all the buttons on his belt nicely painted very nice and tidy around the back the silver on the uh, on sort of the armbands are nice bit of a bronze bronzy orange look on that one around around that arm that looks nice and again with the the hands he's rocking the blue gloves the long fingernails it's pretty nice now we're gonna do something be warned <laughs> we are looking up Bib Fortuna's skirt at his legs so here we go so yeah there's there appears to be I'm not sure whether this is like part Boba Fett in terms of his legs I don't know very much similar to the the style the the sort of baggy pants of Ahsoka um, and Boba Fett from Morak. Maybe not. They're a bit bulkier than that. But it's definitely got that, that same sort of baggy baggy pants over the knee. The articulation sort of hidden in behind it looks good. Um, yeah, this these could work for a new Rancor Keeper. I reckon. You know, if they're going to get any reuse out of out of these legs can certainly be used for for a, a new Malachili if that is something that's going to come down the track. But yeah, I'm not sure whether it's... I don't think it's been used yet. It's just very reminiscent of a couple of those figures. Like, like I said, Ahsoka, obviously, she's going to have slightly slimmer legs than big old Bib. Even Boba Fett probably, probably as well. So yeah, no sort of real extra paint apps there from the from the waist down, but he's covered with the big skirt, so that's fine. We might while his skirt's up, <laughs> we might as well take a look at his articulation from the bottom down. Uh, there is an ankle rocker, there is a hinge in the bottom top of the foot there. Again, there is the hinge knees, which you know that's a good range of movement there for the knees. Not that you're ever going to need it, but. Um, He's got a swivel, top of the thigh, ball hinge in the hips, or ball and socket in the hips. Now let's get that skirt down. Stop everyone's eyes from bleeding. Now there is a swivel at the torso there. And there is a ball joint. 
sort of above the belly, I guess, or within the belly. So that's cool. Ball hinges in the shoulders. And swivel there as well. Same with the elbows. Ball hinge and a swivel as well. Same with the wrists, in and out motion on that wrist. And same on that wrist. And then the head joint. We do have a sort of barbell joint in there. And the one that pops into the head. And sits in there very nicely. So let's get this robe back on. So yeah, I've got all the articulation you can expect from a very modern vintage collection figure. You know, definitely at the top of its game. This one is just outstanding, I'm going to say. I really, really love this figure a great deal. So we've done the articulation. Let's get a look at the feet. It may not be super, super beneficial for pegs. We'll try. I don't think they're going to go in that far. Which is a, a little bit of a pity. You know what? If it was to, yeah, a little bit more needs to go in there. I think it will grip if you were to get both of these feet on on separate pegs. I think it will hold. But yeah, it's not sitting flush on the peg. So you know, if you have the ability to either. Drill a smaller, drill a bit deeper hole into the feet without going through. Sci-Fi did something like that on his channel a couple of months ago, I think. Um, sort of increase the hole with the drill, or if you're willing, sort of shave down the uh, pegs of your stand. But that sort of defeats the whole purpose of the stand. So yeah, probably if there is one downfall to this figure, it is the peg holes in the feet. It is important, but I think this guy, he is heavy enough. He's got a wide stance. You can give him a wide stance. He's got nice big feet. You can kind of use his staff to stabilize him. He's not going to be too easy to knock down. But man, does he look fantastic or what? You know, next to Skinny Bib. Yeah, you know, sort of seven or eight years or whatever it was between Return of the Jedi and The Mandalorian. He he was on a good good paddock. He was eating good. It's a fantastic couple of figures here. Really, really love this Bib Fortuna. He's so good. So if I'd gotten this figure last year, he would have made it my top 10, 100%. Uh, really cool. I love it. But yeah, this is absolutely zero regrets with opening this one up now. I'm glad I did. I'm really, really happy with this figure. I can't wait to get him on display. So that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed it again. I did do a review of the Power of the Force to Bib Fortuna. Look how far we've come, guys. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the Kenner one to compare it to. But, yeah, even even in 30 years, just under 30 years, we've come a long way. Really, really cool stuff. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back next week with some more. Just trying to get him to stand. Yeah, if you're new around here, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. All that kind of stuff is appreciated. I uh, do appreciate your time coming and hanging out. And then dropping comments. I love everyone dropping comments. It's good fun. Always good to strike up a conversation. But until next time, have a great weekend. May the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.